air right here on Fox 50. Then NBC's election night coverage will continue on WREL at 11 and into the night. Mm -hmm. We are covering some local and national races right here as all eyes are on the presidential battle between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump. We're going to be with Brian Schrader. He is in the WREL Live Center with a closer look at some of the races tonight, Brian. The votes are being counted in all seven of the big battleground states. And let's take a look at the latest update on the electoral vote. Donald Trump right now with 198 electoral votes and 52% of the popular vote. And Kamala Harris right now with 112 electoral votes and 46% of the popular vote. And of course, the first to reach 270 claims the presidency. Let's take a look at the map. A lot of red on that map right now. A lot of the usual red states that are living up to their history with South Carolina, Florida, a lot of the deep south, Texas, of course. Uh, Iowa uh, also appears to be in former President Donald Trump's column. Still waiting on calls in Georgia. Georgia, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, uh, and also in Arizona and Nevada. That uh, is, uh, the polls closed there about 30 minutes ago, still awaiting some results from that race. Kamala Harris has won New York, uh, and it looks like Virginia also will be in her column in the end, although it's a little close there, in Illinois and also in Colorado. Those uh, states all have been called for Kamala Harris. Of course, we're going to watch that very closely. We also have been watching the governor's race. As you know, Josh Stein is claiming victory in that race, defeating Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson uh, by a fairly wide margin as we still count those votes coming in. Brian, I, I know we've been really focusing on the local races around here. Any issues that we're seeing across the, the country that's leading to delays in the in the results coming in? Uh, earlier in Wisconsin, in Milwaukee, they were counting absentee ballots and some of the doors on the tabulating machine were not closed properly. So to be absolutely uh, in an abundance of caution, the poll workers there said, let's recount all of these ballots. So that's 30,000 absentee ballots they had counted to that point. So it looks like some of those results in Milwaukee and Wisconsin are going to be a little late tonight. Another all battleground right. state there, yeah. too. Yeah, all we're right. kind of used to it at this yeah. point, I think. <laughs> no, yeah. Thank you, Brian.